Hello, welcome to the second video on Celeris 11 package management. I'm your host Gabriel Smith and this is going to be a quick and short video. We're just going to go through some of the basic package management tools for Celeris 11. Let me just clear the screen here. Okay, so if you wanted to install a piece of software or uninstall a piece of software uh, on your system one of the ways you can check to see if the software is on your system is that I believe you can do a package uh, list command and let's say we want to uninstall pigeon I know it's there because actually it may not be there uh, let's do let's see if Wireshark is there so we'll do because we don't know the exact name spelling of Wireshark we'll just show look for anything with the word wire in it that's installed on our system so Wireshark is an install PKG list let's try pigeon make it several response huh neither pigeon or Wireshark is installed which is funny because I thought I installed pigeon okay so let's look for desktop okay so we currently have on our system a package called known remote desktop install and we know it's installed because we if we look over in the IFO column I being for install F being that the pro package is frozen meaning it won't receive any more updates and O meaning it's obsolete so package list is one way that you can query packages currently installed in your, on your system Another way we could have found this if we knew the exact name we, of the package, we could have done a package info. And we could uh, basically use, I believe, a minus R for remote query or to query the repository. And it should basically come back and give us basic information about the package. Huh. Okay. So we did a remote but we really didn't have to so if we run this command again without the R you want to use R for remote in case the package is not installed so again if we run the command without an R uh, we can get a basic information about this package and it shows us the current state is installed so let's since we let me see something here B Adam I did install Pigeon on a different boot environment. I covered boot environments in the other video, but basically, a boot environment is a way of creating a separate instance of your current OS state. So let's say you like the way that your uh, your operating system is running now, and maybe you want to install some software to maybe test the effects of the software. You could uh, create a new boot environment. So boot environments are a way that you can have multiple uh, instances of uh, your operating system, and if you don't if you're unhappy with the changes that you've made you cannot you can easily switch back to your backup boot environment so on and so forth okay so at this point let's go ahead and install pigeon we're gonna install it's already installed on another boot environment we're just gonna install it locally here and that's a very simple command pkg install pigeon And it's going to take 
quite a bit of time. I don't know if it, we'll get a chance to finish it in this video, but let's just look at a few other commands here on another screen. If we wanted to know the contents of the pigeon package, we can look inside the manifest and we can do that using the PKG contents command and then we just type the name of the package. Now, if we had if we wanted to look at different attributes of the manifest, there are different options for that but we won't really be covering any of those options I'm just letting you know if you you could do it if you want to uh, for example if you wanted to look at file the file attributes you can type minus T to basically indicate that you're going to look at a specific attribute and then you just type file and it should come back and it should tell us all the oh my god this is going to be oh it's too late I was going to try to pipe it but basically what this has given us, it's given us all the different files that are in this package and where they would potentially be uh, saved on our system when we install this package. Now going back to boot environments, if we wanted to basically activate a different boot environment, which I think we'll do, let's go be at them list again I'm sorry left the M off you notice that there's a R on this boot environment which means that when my system reboots the test PG boot environment is going to be active let's say we don't want that and we want to make another boot environment active the way to do it I believe is B Adam activate and then we simply type in the name of the boot environment that we want to activate here or be active on the next boot. Oh! Let's see here, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I be Adam Oh, I'm sorry, it's activate, not active. There we go, that should do it. It's taking quite a long time. Let's, okay, so now it's done. Now if we do a B atom list. We can see now that when my system reboots, the boot environment Solaris will be active here. I think we can also, if we wanted to get more information about all these different boots environment, if at this point we can see whether or not they're active and there are different switches, N is for the current and R is for what's going to happen when the system reboots. Uh, it shows us where it's mounted. It shows us how much space each of these images or boot environments take up and it shows the policy and when they were created. I think there's a little bit more information if we do a verbose. There is not. There is not. Uh, what do we do wrong? I'm pretty sure there was a minus V in there. Oh well. All right. Maybe there's not. Okay, so let's just see if the installation is completed. We can see that our installation of Pigeon is completed. Now if we do a PKG, uh, what is it, uh, list we could do. We can see that it's currently installed here on our system we could also do a PKG info and we can see that the state is currently installed so that is pretty much it I just wanted to
basically give a quick, a very, very quick overview of uh, package management. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please send me an email at busy386 at gmail.com. Thank you.